I'm uh, Matt Waite. I'm a professor of journalism at the University of Nebraska. And by the way, you'll pry my five-year-old son's iPhone from his cold, dead hands. Um, I'm here to talk about the management wisdom of Battlestar Galactica. I said earlier that I'm a big geek. Uh, I was an investigative reporter, then a web developer, and I learned as I'm watching this wonderful sci-fi series that it was a lot like product development. Product development, it's like this. You've got your precious little idea, and you want to bring your precious idea in the world, and you've got these fucking people in your face. The bosses and the focus groups, the fucking focus groups. And I realized it's like the show. You've got this precious little ragtag fleet of about 50,000 human beings, and you've got this murderous race of cybernetic hot chicks that um, <laughs> are trying to stop you and kill you. And these folks, I would have killed to have them as, as product managers and, and bosses, because that's Laura Roslin and, and, and Admiral Dama, and they actually made really great product managers throughout it. So. I started thinking about this, and I'm like, wait a minute. There's like whole pieces of the show that, that are product management wisdom. Like, sin qua non. It's Latin. It means without which not. It's the thing that's the most important uh, to, uh, without which you would have nothing. So I've made this argument before. Wait a minute. I've always said that if you build an app, you should be able to describe in one short declarative sentence what that app does. If you can't, you don't have an app, without which you have nothing. And you should ruthlessly and viciously protect that one thing from the fucking focus groups uh, <laughs> and the other newsroom editors and people like that and protect your idea and nurture it. There's a part of the show, it's not enough to be, it's not enough to survive. One has to be worthy of survival. And for them, it was, you know, they had to do the right thing. They couldn't do things that were against humanity. I think of this more as, uh, as newsroom developers and as developers in a news organization, some people get this idea that just because the web is important, that means we should have a job. No, <laughs> you should be committed to your idea and committed to making it work. You have to be worthy of survival. You have to be worthy of the job that you have in a newsroom because there's an awful lot of people that don't have them anymore. And if you aren't willing to commit to that level, if you are a clock puncher, get the fuck out. <laughs> there's this whole thing in the, sh in the show where uh, they, uh, there's this kind of weird psychotic banner between one of the pilots, Starbuck, and, and Admiral Dama, where she's flying through space and there's pieces of Cylon craft bouncing off her, off, her, uh, off her craft, and he says, what do you hear? And she says, nothing but the rain. He says, well, grab your gun and bring in the cat. I have no freaking idea what that means. <laughs> I interpret it to mean you have got to fight. And the one thing that I loved about the group that I, that I worked with previously was that we had a culture of debate. We fought over the ideas that we had. We debated them. There was a position of honor in the group, and that was to take the con, to say why this was a terrible idea. If you could not defend your argument or argue against it, you didn't understand your argument well enough. In the show, they talk about sooner or later, the day comes when you can't hide from the things that you've done anymore. If anyone in here has ever built a website, you know exactly <laughs> what this means. <laughs> Your technical debt comes due. Every corner that you cut, everything you do to get out the door, every perfectly understandable thing you do to get out the door on time, that shit comes back to haunt you. And you have to know it's coming. You have to know that you're going to have to make up for those decisions someday. It's fine, it's human, it's no problem if you expect it. If you somehow act surprised about it, I don't feel sorry for you. One of the great things in the show is sometimes you have to roll a hard six. If you ever played craps, a hard six is two threes, it's one of the highest odds rolls in the game. It also means you have the high, one of the highest payouts of it. What I interpret that to mean is if you are not gambling big, if you are not taking a chance, if you are not taking a risk, why are you there? I viewed it that if I wasn't gambling my career every six months or so, really, I was getting kind of bored. Uh, I, really wasn't, I really wasn't in it enough. I really needed to kind of push the envelope of what we were doing. It made me more involved and more passionate about it. It made the victories all the bigger. And I just want to say, for all my people who've seen the show, so say we all. <laughs> Yes!
and I'm it. <laughs>